Hey everyone, back again with a, uh, another quest video, or a semi-quest video. This one is dedicated to finding all of the free attribute points that you can accumulate while doing the Here Lies the Abyss quest out in the Fade. Um, there is an actual quest that you pick up out here that will let you find some items and uh, increase your attribute points. And then there are also some random mirrors that you come across in the zone that also allow you to increase your attribute points. Uh, at the end of the day, you'll wind up with 10 extra points. You'll find 2 magic, 1 dex, 2 cunning, 1 constitution, 2 willpower, and 2 strength. I uh, wanted to kind of walk you through the zone here and show you where all the points of interest were. When you first get into the fade, you'll be standing right about here and you see some stairways in front of you, uh, or stairway in front of you, just ignore that and head to your left. And walk around back by what looks like some red lyrium by this statue with a torch on it. Turn the corner and you're going to find some demons back here. Uh, fight them and you will find a mirror. Uh, go up and examine the mirror and it will give you plus one magic. Once you're done there, head back towards the entrance. Walk across the way here. And you're going to see what looks like a chair sitting over here. Now I'll walk up to the chair and examine it. And it's going to start a quest called Fears of the Dreamers. Now the quest is going to have you uh, find some items. And once you find them, you're going to bring them back to little things, that, uh, places that you examined and drop them off. And that's what's going to give you your attribute points. Uh, finding the items, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, activates the, the mini-map ping system so that it shows you close to something you need to find that's hidden. For this one, if you walk to the back here, you're looking for a candle. Grab the candle. Walk back over here. Set the candle down. And you can see it actually completed the quest, uh, that part of the quest, up in the right hand corner. But you have to make sure that after you complete the uh, that stage of the quest, you actually take the item. And you see that gives you your plus one magic. So uh, once you drop the item off, don't forget to take it uh, because you will uh, you'll miss your attribute point. So once you're done out there, uh, there's nothing more to be gained down here. Uh, you want to head up the stairs. And this would have been your uh, first encounter with your memories. Uh, once the portal goes down, or the little barrier goes down, head down these stairs, kill a few demons, head back up these stairs, and we're going to walk down another set. And walk across this nifty little pond here and you can see that there is a, another little ghost or something standing here near a flower pot so what you're looking for now are flowers and if you saw the mini map ping when we walked down the stairs then you'll remember that uh, it's probably in this area somewhere uh, the flowers are actually back around this corner with this skeleton so pick up the flowers Walk them back over to the flower vase. And obviously, yes, it would have totally been quicker to pick them up on the way down, but I wanted to show you where the uh, the placement was first. Once again, don't forget to take the uh, item. You get plus one constitution there. Unfortunately, that is the only place you get constitution in here if you're playing a sword and board warrior and that constitution is important to you. I'm going to head up these stairs after that down another set and make sure you look to your left when you get down here because you're gonna find another mirror. Go ahead and grab that mirror and you're gonna get plus one dexterity. Head back down the stairs and now you're at kind of a fork. You can go down or you can go across here. You wanna go across. It's a dead end but uh, there is another mirror up here. So right before you get to these stairs you're gonna see a burnt body sitting right here. If you examine the burnt body, it's going to spawn a rage demon, so just FYI. 
Head up the stairs, walk towards the mirror, and you're going to see a bunch of other burned bodies on the floor here. Examine one of them, and it will spawn a bunch of demons, kill them, and then the mirror will become active. And once you interact with the mirror, it will give you plus one cunning. After you're done there, head back down the stairs, and guess what? There are some more demons down here waiting for you, so kill them off. And then head back to the fork in the road, and take the path not chosen. We'll head down here. Gonna fight some spiders through here. Kill them off, keep going. Kill some more demons here, collect some memories, and once they're done, if you hop up here, you're going to find this little campfire, and you're from here you're looking for tarot cards. Uh, now you'd think they'd be right around this area, and they kind of are, but you have to walk out here and look back in this little corner, and there are the tarot cards you're looking for. So pick those up, now run back over here. Set down the tarot cards. Don't forget to take your attribute point. That one's going to be strength. Head back out. And you're going to come up on an another mirror. Don't forget to grab that. That gives you your plus one willpower. Alright, we'll keep on trucking through here. And we're going to get to another fork in the road. Now for this one, you want to go my preference is to always go up the stairs first. Um, two reasons. Uh, one, it keeps you from having to come up here later. And there's also a puzzle up here that uh, I've got uh, covered in another video. But once you get up here, you're going to see a couple big demons out in this area that you're going to have to fight. Once you kill them, there is going to be a uh, another item to find out here. It looks like a stuffed nug. Go ahead and grab that. And then walk across the way here to a bed. And you want to put the stuffed nug on the bed. And grab your willpower point. Now, once you're here, um, as far as finding attribute points goes, you don't have to walk any further forward. My suggestion is that you backtrack, and if you're wondering what that is, that's the puzzle I was talking about. As I said, it's, I've got it covered in another video, so if you're having trouble with it, uh, just look that one up. I'm going to head back down the stairs here, the way we came. Uh, the only way I don't like to backtrack, but uh, if you keep going forward ahead, you're going to run into um, a bit of an encounter where you have to fight off waves and waves of uh, demons. So. If you're just trying to pick up your points before you uh, move on to completing the zone, you want to backtrack and walk down this way. Once you get out here, if you walk to your left, you're going to find another mirror. I promise. <laughs> right over here in the corner. So grab this. This will give you a plus one strength. And then walk across here. And you're going to find the last part of the Fears of the Dreamers quest. You're looking for a vial of darkspawn blood. You're going to walk in this general direction towards this little cemetery. You're going to fight some demons over here. And the darkspawn blood is sitting on a gravestone marker. Grab that. Head back to the little table over here. Set down the vial. Don't forget to take your point. Give you a plus one cunning. Now that is all of the uh, attribute points you're going to find out here. At this point you should have ten. Um, two magic, one dex, two cunning, one constitution, two willpower, and one strength. This is the area I was talking about where you kind of have to fight off a bunch of waves of enemies. You can see all the loot laying on the ground there from that fight. Uh, I wanted to point out one more thing. Uh, completing the Fears of the Dreamers quest asks you to retrieve the Dreamers reward. Once you fight off those waves of enemies, and you head through here, 
you're going to see some loot on the ground. Go ahead and grab that, and what that is is the essence of perfection. Now there is no description of what the item is here, nor is there if you look at it in your inventory. However, what it really is, is it is a 100% chance at Masterwork Crafting. Uh, Masterwork Crafting will give you a 10% boost of stats on a given item. So if you're making a weapon or armor, um, it will increase the natural stats based on the materials you've added by 10%. So and it guarantees uh, that you get the Masterwork Craft versus all the other items are up to a 40% chance that you'll get it. And uh, if you've done much playing around with that, you know that it's just 40% randomly. It's not, uh, you know, if you do it three times, you're bound to get a masterwork. It really doesn't work out that way. So uh, I hope you found the video helpful. I hope it helped you find all your points. Uh, please leave any comments or questions uh, under the video. And thanks for watching. Take care.